What is going on everybody? It is February 7th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. I'm gonna take you guys to my three favorite sledding locations for free, the free sledding locations. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get there. We're not gonna keep the camera on the whole time, but I wanna explain to you guys where we're at and then I'll turn the camera on before we turn on any certain streets. So this is Boulder Bay area. Boulder Bay. Here's the Boulder Bay market. So you guys know where we're at right now. When you cross the Big Bear Dam coming in to Big Bear, this is the road you will be on. So I'm just going to hold it here for a couple seconds so you guys can see where we're at. And then I will tell you where to turn. Where we are going to turn first is we're going to turn right on a street called Tulip. And as I said, I'm going to show you guys three different spots. This spot all by myself, but I'm going to pick my wife up for the next two spots, okay? I wish we were doing some sledding for you guys, but we're not. I'm just gonna show you guys some, some good spots. Okay, so we're gonna go up here about another quarter of a mile to a half a mile, and I'll turn the camera back on. This is where we're at right now. I know you guys know where we're at. A lot of you do. All right, hang tight. Okay, you guys, here's the Civic Center. I believe that's what it's called. Here is Johnny's ski and board. So this next right hand turn, we're gonna turn right here. I think there might be two spots in one over here, kind of. So I'm hoping there's not no trespassing signs in this first spot where I was thinking. So this is Tulip. I'm gonna turn right on Tulip. And we're just gonna take this all the way around. I know for a fact this area on the left is no trespassing. Unfortunately. I hope you guys are stoked. I thought you guys would be happy that I'm doing this for you guys. So look, this would be a decent little light sledding area for you guys, but unfortunately to the left here, there's big signs like that that say no no trespassing, snow play or dog walking. They have a bunch of signs like that here. It's really beautiful though. But we're just gonna stay on Tulip. And I really hope this first spot doesn't say that either. I really hope it doesn't. So you would pass that spot and then it's just up here on the right hand side just up here on the right hand side for these first two okay yeah so i don't see any no trespassing signs here guys look at this huge area this is a big area that if you guys can find a place to park legally and just hike over here you got it there's no no trespassing signs i don't see anything this would be a wonderful spot i'm telling you guys a great spot look there's nobody here today either and it covers a huge, vast area. There are so many hills over here. Look at that. You can see where kids already sledded. You can see all the tracks. Okay. And so we're just gonna keep on going straight, literally a quarter of a block up past that area. Remember, Big Bear Boulevard, turn right on Tulip. And then here is the Aspen Glen picnic area. So we are going to turn into here, and this is another place where you guys can try to do a little sledage. This is a great, great spot as well. Let's see here. Okay, so there's all this area through here, hills back there, there's a bunch of people here. And then you got the hills on that side, picnic benches everywhere. This is a great, great spot, you guys. One of the better spots in town, but it's always so crowded. That's why I, I don't really show you guys this place too often. Okay, so this is another spot. And this is basically off of Mill Creek Road right here. Tulip, I think, turns into Mill Creek Road, but don't quote me on it. As I said, if you take the directions I gave, I gave you exactly, you'll be fine. Big Bear Boulevard, once you're entering town, you'll turn right onto Tulip from Big Bear Boulevard, and then on the right-hand side, you'll see that first area I just showed you, and then you'll see this area. Okay, guys, there's a couple, couple spots in one. So there's technically gonna be four spots today that I'm gonna show you guys. Remember the first spot is to the left now. 
This is the Aspen Glen picnic area. I did not see any trespassing sign or no trespassing signs back there, so you're good. And this place, you can definitely sled, no problem. No problem, guys. All right, so we're gonna stop this and we are going to head back out. Or actually, we'll stay on this till we get to Big Bear Boulevard, just so you guys can see. So if you took that street tulip and just stayed straight on that street, you'll hit two of these sledding areas. And right now we're on Mill Creek and it'll drop you off closer to the village. We're almost to the boulevard again. So we just did a loop and it takes you by a couple little great sledding areas. This will drop us off right next to the Alpine slide at Magic Mountain. Straight ahead, you can see that other sledding area way out in the distance. That is where you pay to go sledding. And they have an electric walkway that pulls you up to the top. Right there, but that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to do the free spot. So now you guys know right where we're at. We're almost to the village. I'm gonna shut it off for right now until we get close to the next ones. Peace out, guys. Hope you're enjoying. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'm gonna put this video in a playlist all by itself. So I can, when people ask me where to go sledding, I can refer it to them. Peace out, guys. Okay, guys, we are passing the Big Bear Village right now on Big Bear Boulevard. The village is here to the right. There's the bowling barn. This is the direction you wanna to go to the next sledding area. We are going to be making a right-hand turn on Moon Ridge Road when we get there. There is a Walgreens Pharmacy right on the corner of Big Bear Boulevard and Moon Ridge Road. You wanna turn right, right there on Moon Ridge Road, and then we will continue from that point on. Okay, you guys, we are still on Big Bear Boulevard coming up to Moon Ridge Road. This is where you're gonna to wanna to turn right to go to the first of these last two sledding locations for free. You're gonna to wanna to turn down Moon Ridge for both of these sledding locations though, you guys. So let's turn right here. Here's the Walgreens I was telling you guys about. Let's do this. All right. So we're gonna continue on here. You'll go about three quarters of a mile until you hit a street called Club View. It's at the second roundabout. I'll turn this on through the roundabout as well to show you guys where to turn. So just stay on this for about three quarters of a mile and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, you guys picked up my wife as well and this is the first of the two roundabouts. This is where we have to drive through to get to one of these next two sledding areas. Actually, both of them you need to go through here. So just keep that in mind. When we leave this next sled area, we're gonna come back the long way so you guys can be back on Moon Ridge Road to see where to go from this exact area. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you today? I'm great. Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. You're looking good. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Check is in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So also, this is we're at the second roundabout now, and this street is called Club View, right where the zoo is, right in, right in front of the zoo. You want to turn right here. And then do not deviate from this road at all. You want to go up to the very, very top. It seems a lot further than it really is, but it's it's not. Obviously, we got the zoo here to the left. I figured we'll probably just keep the camera on for this part. And then on, on, on our next way to the next sledding area, I will definitely uh, not keep the camera on the whole time because I want this to be not the longest video. You know what? I'll keep this, I'll turn this off until we get to bear actually, just to make it a faster video. Here's the golf course, looks so beautiful. Hang on guys. All right, you guys, we are still on Club View. Here is Bear Mountain, beautiful as ever. They just closed for the day, I believe. But you don't wanna turn left or do anything, you just wanna stay right here. Usually there's signs about right here that say residential neighborhood, not a through street. But there is a public off-roading area called the 2 and 10 up here, so everyone's welcome up here. So we're just gonna keep the camera on until we get up here to the top so you guys know it's not that far. And then as I said, we're gonna go back out to Moon Ridge Road and turn the camera on again from there to show you how to get to the next spot. Cause I don't wanna take you on the shortcut from here to there because it'll confuse you guys. Okay, we're just about here. This is the spot I send you guys most of the time.
as I said, you just go up to the very top here where the road goes and it, there's nowhere else you can go. It's just right at the top where this truck's parked. You can, you can park in there. Getting into this little parking lot, it's, there's a little bit of a drop off. It doesn't seem bad, but it's a pain in the butt. So this is where you want to go. You'll see a bunch of park benches right there or what, just whatever type of, of, of benches. Welcome to the South Shore sign. And this is one of the sledding spots. There's nobody sledding right now, so it'd be perfect, perfect time for everyone who's already up here to come sledding. But yeah, just hike yourselves up that hill and slide down and your kids are not gonna sled into the street or anything like that, they'll be perfect. In the summertime, this gate's open and you can drive behind our mountain range here and it's so beautiful back here. That's the 2N10. But yeah, this is it. This is it, you guys. This whole area right here, and it always maintains a good amount of snow because of the elevation and the fact that it's right on the mountain. So let's let's do this, and then, yeah, I'll tell I'll, I'll tell you guys about the new trick for my car that I just learned from my good friend Mike Mike Mendez. I'm very excited about it. It's like a, it's like a freaking like a Tesla. What it can do, I, I can't believe it. But yeah, this is it. This is where you guys want to come. This is the very top of the mountain next to next to Bear Mountain. I hope you could hear all the stuff I just said. How do you like this spot, baby? I love this spot. One Isn't it my, nice? One of my first spots that I ever came to up here. Not for sledding, but just to hang out and get like peace of mind. I'd drive up here and hang out and, you know. It's quiet up hang here, out. huh? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> And then hang um, out with your thing out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's super peaceful and at night it gets a little scary because it's pitch black at night. She actually had someone here a uh, well I don't want to scare anybody, but like there was some like butt naked dude who was like tripping out. Oh he was hiking through the forest. He was he was okay. He was friendly. <laughs> yeah. But he was naked. I bet he was friendly. He was uh, naked, and then when I started to drive away from him, he was running after the car, which I found hilarious. <laughs> hilarious, hilarious. I'm like, oh my God, he's chasing me. <laughs> and he's naked. <laughs> it's like crazy. Very, that was when I first came out here too, like maybe the first couple months I was out here. Yeah. Pretty funny. Good introduction to Big Bear. <laughs> so anyway, guys, this is it. This is the, the second, well, actually technically the third spot I've showed you guys so far at the very top here of Club View. I'm pretty sure the name of this street changed as we we're up here, but yeah, this is it, you guys. Great little spot, safe spot. If your kids end up going too fast, as I said, they're probably gonna hit this snow berm and they're not gonna go into the street. So it's gonna be good, You're gonna be good. So I'm gonna turn it off now and we're gonna head back out to Moon Ridge Road to do the third slash fourth spot. Let's do this. All right, guys, so we're going to the final sledding location. We're back on Moon Ridge Road. This is the first roundabout. So we're just gonna get back onto Moon Ridge and go through the roundabouts again to show you guys how to get here regularly. Instead of having to take the reverse route from the other location we were just at. Just help you guys out as much as I can. Dude, I love you guys, man. I freaking love you guys. And as I told you guys before, my baby right here, she's she's so impressed with how loving you guys are. She was, she was really nervous to be on here with me because she, even though the mean comments are very few, you guys, they're very, very few. Like, uh, she just hated seeing people treat me like that, and she didn't want to be treated like that either. But I told her, not my people. Okay, so here we go. Instead of turning right there on Club View to go to the last one, we're going to just go follow the roundabout around, and the zoo will be on your right-hand side, just like this. And now you are on... Uh, you're still on Moon Ridge Road. And we're going to turn the camera off after we make this right-hand little curve in the road. Do not go straight. Follow this road around. And then I'll, I'll turn this off and just keep on going until I tell you to turn. So hang tight. Okay, you guys, we're back on. This is Sheephorn. You can get there turning left on Sheephorn to the other side of the little gully area, but we're going to go to this side. So the next street here is called Sand Canyon. The golf course will be on your right-hand side here. You want to turn left on Sand Canyon here. Eventually, there we go. And then your first street, once again, is called Sand Canyon. You wanna turn left on Sand Canyon again. This is a little tougher, the directions, so please follow this. I have to keep the camera on this whole time. It's not far. Now, 
we're gonna want to go left here in the or just follow this around to the left okay guys keep following this to the left and then this area is a humongous area to go sled in terms of like length of you can go up and down this whole gully as far as you need to go to find a spot and the further up you go the more snow there will be because we're going up in elevation it's basically a, a water runoff area but we're gonna want to turn left here this is called what is this called oh no what is this called there's got to be a sign sand canyon sand canyon again okay guys so do not forget that it's it's just follow the directions and you cannot miss it if you watch this video while you're driving have your passenger watch it you cannot miss it so here to the left you guys there's a gully area where it goes up and down really really high as a matter of fact let me find a spot where i can just get out and show you guys real real quickly what it looks like again it's a spot where your kids will have no issues no chance of of crashing into cars because once they hit the bottom of the gully they start going up the other side and then you can just keep on going up and down and all around, do the hokey pokey, stuff like that. So we are gonna pull over here, um, just for a second. And I'm gonna hop out real quick, okay baby? Just to show you guys. And this gully, this wash, this, this water way goes up the whole way to the top of freaking Moon Ridge. So let's just do this real quick. We're gonna get out of the car. You gotta find a good place to park. And then it's super simple. Look at this. It's a great little area, guys. Look at this. Usually there's more snow. But look, look at how steep some of this is. Wow. You gotta make that sound. Wow. I don't wanna fall down here though, that would suck. So it's super steep right here, not as steep right up there. You can see a bunch of broken sleds. That's disappointing to see. But uh, yeah, you can have black diamond sledding or green circle sledding here, or, or even blue squares. And then you can, as I said, go to the other side of the road, taking um, sheep horn to get to that side and sled down this way, or just park over here and sled down and hike up. So once again, let's do a little, a little view. And, and this goes all the way down, the, all the way down, guys. This whole area. So let me just, oh wow, we're sinking in some deep snow. Some deep snowfall. All right, so check that out. Look at that, guys, look how cool that is. As I said, just find a safe place to park. And this thing goes way, way, way up there. And it's up and down, up and down, all around. But once again, you gotta do the hokey pokey and you'll be golden. So yeah, these are all like streets called Sand Canyon. But just follow these directions and you guys will be freaking perfect, okay? All right, cheers to you guys. These are the, you know what, I'm gonna walk up a little bit to show you guys just without this tree obstructing our view. Look at this, you can drop in right here. This is steep, steep, steep. And as I said, it's less steep over there. So there's, there's sledding for everybody, guys. And when there's more snow, you really don't have to worry about any of this brown or, or rock sticking up. You guys will be totally fine. The kids will be safe. It's the most important part, right? And free, that's most important as well. Remember, you guys are in neighborhoods here. So please, please, as usual, be respectful. Um, don't park if it says no parking. Don't park in people's driveways. <laughs> um, but please come up here and have a freaking blast. I love you guys a lot. This is it for our three and slash four free sledding areas. There's a couple more on the other side of town. We'll do a second sled video soon, okay? Love you guys a lot. Let's say bye to my wife. Hang on. All right, we're done, baby. All right, well, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Well, thank you, Give babe. Give a, a thumbs up and a like and a follow. Thanks, babe. And thank you for watching. Baby. And I hope you all have fun sledding out here when you come. Come here, give me a kiss. Mm. Guys, this is this is my beautiful wifey. I am so lucky, huh, guys? Like, I am so lucky. How did I get a chick that looks like that? I mean, jeez. <laughs>
All right, guys, peace out. I love you guys a lot. Please like and subscribe. I do a lot because I love you guys. If you guys like or subscribe or not, I'm still gonna do this for you guys, but it would really help me out. So like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, put on your seatbelt so you don't have that annoying sound. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys a lot. As I said, you can keep on driving up this way real quick. Just And you got this whole gully that just goes all the way up. guys. <laughs> so there's plenty of space, plenty of area to go. Peace out. Like, subscribe, notification. We love you. Peace. It's uh, February 7th, 2023 at 4.20 p.m. Later, guys.